so in this semester i am going to take a lecture uh, take this paper uh, complex variable and fourier series the mt5502 so in this lecture i am going to discuss about the introduction of the subject uh, this paper we are going to discuss in the from the book uh, complex variable and its application the brown and churchill are the two author there are various uh, editions of this uh, book are available in the market according to your syllabus this uh, syllabus is based on the edition 6 but the edition 6 is not available in the market uh, so you may purchase the edition 10th edition right now it is in market so you can use that uh the first three units are as i said it is from the first book that is the complex variable and uh its application the another uh, the fourth unit is come from the first course in mathematical analysis uh analysis by d somasundram and this uh, uh fourth unit is based on this fourier series okay so let us uh, discuss about uh, what is the how the units are distributed in this unit 1 basically it is a introduction of uh, complex number uh, so the unit 1 is include the complex numbers and its various property so in that we will uh, learn about what is complex numbers and how to add a complex number how to subtract add multiply and divide all sort of things how, what is the polar coordinate uh, of the complex number and various other form of uh, the complex numbers that we are going to discuss in that the next uh, topic is how to find out the root of uh, complex number so the complex number uh, as uh, probably you have discussed in your uh, 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 12 standard or after that uh, you know that the complex numbers are of the form x plus i y then if this is the complex number then what will be the power what will be the root of this number so that we are going to discuss in this uh, uh, topic the next one is the de morvas theorem the de morvas theorem is very famous theorem uh, very famous theorem okay which tells you that uh, cos theta plus i sin theta power n is equal to cos and theta plus i sin n theta so uh that, sorry that is the de morvis theorem that you have the next uh, and its application also we are discussing in this uh, thing and then we have uh, some elementary functions that we have that is for example what is exponential function complex valued exponential functions uh, what is that it is nothing but the uh, you know that in the real variable you have uh, the f of z is equal to x where if x is a, a real number that means if x is belongs to r then what you have and this function is increasing uh it's never zero and so lots of properties are there but the scenario in complex numbers are totally different there uh, even though you cannot compare this uh, complex to you cannot say the function is increasing or decreasing and there are other properties of this functions are there so it's totally different from the real value function this complex value functions are the next one is a trigonometric functions uh, so the trigonometric functions are uh, 
actually the learning about the sin x or sin z others i say it's cos z where this function you know it is this functions are bounded functions in a real value if your z is a real variable then they are the bounded function but in the case of uh, complex function they are totally different so they are not bounded functions so we'll talk about this things in the in this unit and also the last one is and its property basically is property of the trigonometric function hyperbolic function so the hyperbolic functions are uh, the functions that is the sin hyperbolic of z that will be deals with the e raised to z minus e raised to minus z by 2 so what are the properties of this hyperbolic functions and all sort of things we are discussing in that the next one is the convergence uh, and the divergence of complex numbers so of a sequence of complex numbers should say sequence of complex numbers. Okay, so probably you know the sequence uh, of a complex number in your uh, FIBSC class and uh, of a real numbers. And here we are discussing about the for complex numbers. So that's it for the unit one. And then we have a unit two. The unit two uh, is basically based on complex functions, complex value functions. the complex valued functions are uh, 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 so in this we are discussing about what is complex valued function the theorem on limits continuity uh, so the derivative some theorems on that we will discuss then we are discuss about the cosy uh, riemann equations which is actually deals with the uh, which is this deals with the derivatives of uh, functions okay, then we are discuss about the analytic functions which is much much stronger than the differentiable functions that probably you know then we are discussing about the harmonic function so the harmonic functions are actually a solution of uh, laplace equation that is del square u by del x square plus del square u by del y square equal to 0 so if this is the laplace equation the solution of this equa this uh, equation is known as the that means u is known as the harmonic functions with some other condition so uh, that's is uh, the unit 2 that we are going to discuss in this paper then next one is the unit 3 the unit 3 basically based on some uh, linear functions the linear functions uh, of complex valued function definitely in the complex valued linear functions or linear transformation rather i can say then we have a bilinear transformations uh, bilinear transformations are known also as a linear fractional transformation okay we will discuss about that then we have some elementary uh, transformations which also includes the further properties of uh, trigonometric function uh, exponential functions uh, etc 
some other extra uh, some other functions are there and speech property we are discussing in this and then uh, we discuss about the preservation of uh, preservation of the angles and its property so that's uh, unit 3 that we are discussing unit 4 unit 4 is basically based on a uh, fourier series so uh, fourier was the engineer uh, and he has established very nice uh, uh, approximation of uh, approximation of a continuous or sorry periodic function approximation of periodic functions we we'll discuss about the basel's inequality also we have a demand this demand lebeck so that's it in this introduction of uh, uh, this paper mt12503 complex variable and its uh, and fourier series